Hi, welcome to chapter seven entitled Spike. After lunch, it was time to get the children together again. I clapped my loud hands some more. Okay, people, the fun is over. Get your buddy and get in line on account of Farmer Flores wants to talk some more. Apparently, Farmer did a teensy frown at me. Then he holded my hand and we walked across the yard to another fence. Inside the fence, there was a building and some chickens. Okay, everyone, said Farmer Flores. This is the last stop on the tour today, he pointed. Who can tell me what that little building is right there? Lucille jumped up and down real happy. The gift shop, the gift shop. I've been wondering where that was, she said real delighted. Farmer Flores did a chuckle. Well, that's a good guess, but most farms don't have a gift don't have gift shops. He looked at the class. I'll give you a hint. He said, My wife and I get eggs for our breakfast every morning from that little house there. Just then a boy named Roger jumped up and down and all around. I know, I know, he shouted. It's a hen house. Farmer Flores smiled. Right. He said, it's a house where hens lay their eggs. Farmer Flores opened the gate. I tugged on his shirt. He bended down next to me. Is there a rooster in there too? I asked, kind of scared. Just one, he said, but there's lots of chickens. Want to go in and say hello? I shook my head real fast. Then I run away from the gate, speedy quick. Polly, Allen, Puffer, and Jim laughed and pointed. Look at Judy B. Jones, they hollered. Judy B. Jones is afraid of roosters. Farmer Flores made an angry face at these two. Hey, 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 he said. I'm surprised at you boys. There's nothing wrong with someone being cautious about roosters. Just then, some of the other children looked kind of scared too. Why? asked Lucille. Is there a rooster? Is the rooster going to peck us? Farmer Flores shook his head. No, he said. That old rooster in there is a pretty calm fella, but that doesn't mean Junie B should be laughed at. He could. He smiled a little bit. Why, I've been around farm animals, farm animals my whole life, he said, but every once in a while, I still come across an animal that I don't get along with. Farmer laughed. In fact, we used to have a goat who nipped at me every day I got near him. And for years, I made my wife go in his pen and feed him. After that, Farmer Flores winked at me, and Mrs. and I could wait outside the gate. My shoulders relaxed very much. I sat down on the grass outside the fence. Only wait till you hear this. Pretty soon, Farmer leaned over the fence where I was sitting and he was holding a baby yellow chick. I giggled and giggled at the cute little thing. A chick, a baby chick. Can I hold it, Farmer, please, 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 I asked. Farmer Flores put the baby chick in my hands. It was fluffy and softy and light as feathers. Ooh, I love it, Farmer. I love this baby chick. After that, I put the chick in the grass and on my lap and in my straw hat. Plus also, I put him in my big white pocket. I peeked at it in there. I wish I could take you home with me, I said. I wish I could take you home to my house and then you could live with me and my dog Tickle forever and ever. Would you like that, huh, would you? The baby chick did a peep. Hey, you said yes, I said. I turned around. Did you hear that, Farmer? The baby chick said it would like to come home with me. Farmer shook his head. Oh, I don't know, Junie B., he said. I'm not sure you'd really like having Spike grow up at your house. I did a frown at the man. Spike? Who's Spike? I asked. Farmer pointed at the baby chick. Spike? Spike the chick, he said. We name the little guy Spike. I peeked at the chick again. Yeah, only Spike is not actually a good name for a fluffery baby chick, I said. 
I know, Junie B, he said, but Spike isn't going to be a little chick forever, you know. I know, I said back, because someday Spike will be a big, giant chick. Right, Farmer? Right, right? Farmer Floor shook his head again. Well, not exactly, he said. I looked at him real curious. Well, if Spike won't be a big chick, what's Spike going to be? I asked Farmer Floors, took Spike back from me. He held him in his hands and patted his little softy head. Someday, Junie B, he said, Spike will be a rooster. Oh, a rooster. And then next time for the last chapter, Confusion.